Okay, so in the book, uh, he on page 10, and I'll, uh, I'll flash a picture on the screen. Um, he has F sub 2 to the 3rd, and I'm sorry about the glare. So, and he defines that as F sub 2 bracket X polynomials modded out by X to the 3rd plus X plus 1. Okay, so he says alpha is a root of x squared plus x plus 1. So that means that alpha, I mean x cubed plus x plus 1. Sorry about that. So alpha to the third plus alpha plus 1 is 0. That's, that's what it means to be a root. Okay, well, alpha to the 1 is just alpha. Let's see if we can figure out what alpha squared is. So, well, that's alpha times alpha. That's alpha to the second. Okay, that's easy. What about alpha to the third? Uh, if you solve for this, you get alpha to the third equals minus alpha minus one. Subtract alpha, subtract one, essentially, right? Um, all the, I mean, this is, it's mod two. So negative one is congruent to one mod two. So negative one is just one, and minus one is plus one. So alpha the third is alpha plus one. That's where he got alpha plus one from. All right, what about alpha to the fourth? So let's look at that. Alpha to the fourth is alpha to the third times alpha, right? So alpha to the third was alpha plus one times alpha. That's alpha squared plus alpha. Wait a minute, but that's exactly what he said it was in the book. Alpha squared plus alpha. So we have the first four of them now. Okay. Let's try alpha to the fifth. So that is alpha to the fourth times alpha. Alpha to the fourth was alpha squared plus alpha. And that is alpha to the third plus alpha squared. Hmm. So here we have alpha to the third plus alpha squared, and he has alpha squared plus alpha plus one. Look up here, alpha to the third plus alpha plus one is zero, and we got alpha to the third equals alpha plus one. Alpha to the third is alpha plus one. Well, that's, this is a field, uh, so, I mean, it's commutative, so this is alpha squared plus alpha plus one. Alpha squared plus alpha plus one, which is alpha to the fifth. So we got that. All right, let's get alpha to the sixth. Alpha to the six is alpha to the fifth times alpha. There's a reason I'm doing it like this, okay? I'll show you in a little bit. Alpha to the fifth times alpha. So alpha to the fifth is alpha squared plus alpha plus one. Times alpha. So distribute that. That's alpha to the third plus alpha squared plus alpha. Now alpha to the third is alpha plus one. Okay, so this is, uh, alpha to the third is alpha plus one, so that is alpha squared Alpha plus alpha is 2 alpha, writing sideways here, 2, sorry, 
alpha squared plus 2 alpha plus 1. Alpha squared plus 2 alpha plus 1. But again, this is mod 2. So 2 is equivalent to 0 mod 2. So this is 0. So this is actually just alpha squared plus 1, which is alpha to the 6. And the last one, alpha squared plus 1, can see that OK? There. Alpha squared plus 1 is, oh, I'm sorry, duh. Alpha to the seventh is alpha to the six times alpha. Alpha squared plus one times alpha. Alpha times alpha squared plus one is alpha to the third plus alpha. But alpha to the third is alpha plus one. Alpha plus one plus alpha. Alpha plus alpha is 2 alpha. But 2 is congruent to 0 uh, mod 2. So that's 0 plus 1, which is 1. That's where alpha to the 7th equals 1 comes from. So essentially, the root alpha generates the whole set of non-zero elements. Um, and that's where he gets that list on page 10 from in the book. So I'll probably insert this video um, in the list. Thank you.